welcome back to this new lesson of our class where we will talk about uh, language and tone and what do i mean by language and tone well when writing your prompt you can ask ChatGPT to give you the output under a uh, selective or under some tone or you know uh, if you want to have a specific vocabulary within the output you can ask ChatGPT to give you that as well uh, and as you know, I don't like talking a lot and I like uh, examples a lot. So let's uh, try to let, let me try to give you some examples for how you can use different tones and different uh, languages. I mean, ways of speaking, basically, uh, so that you get the desired outcome from ChatGPT. Let's have this prompt that says write an essay about your hobby uh, and ChatGPT will usually not write this kind of thing but for the purpose of this essay and discussion uh, sorry for the grammar mistake uh, your hobby will be um, swimming And then we will get this text about the joy of swimming, a journey through water. And we have the introduction, swimming, a, seeming, a seemingly simple activity, has been an, integra an integral part of my life for as long as I can remember. Wow, this is interesting, I mean, really good stuff, right? So, uh, you can see that the tone and language I've used in this prompt uh, it's pretty neutral if I could call it like that because um, there's no emotions reflected by the way I have written this it's like going on Google and searching for an essay about a hobby about swimming um, this is what most people tend to do and this is why they get uh, I mean they still get great results from ChatGPT but you can go even further because if everyone is going to use this tone, this neutral tone, this neutral way of saying or, or presenting the prompt, they they might get sometimes uh, close responses or responses and essays that have a similar pattern. Um, so you can read, you can go through this really fast and see what is the structure of this uh, essay uh, like so let's just read this first paragraph so we can grasp about um the structure and the way it's been written so swimming is seemingly simple activity all right so we read that the moment my body submerges in water i feel a sense of freedom tranquility and exhilaration swimming has been a source of joy relaxation and personal growth in this essay i will discuss the various dimensions of swimming as a hobby all right, so here we go. I don't need the the rest of the essay. I will stop generating and I will go and rewrite this prompt, this same prompt. I will rewrite it with a, a different uh, tone and different words, basically a different language. I mean, not a different language, sorry, but you get a point. So you use different languages in, in terms of different vocabulary, right? So that's what I meant. Um, so let's say, Let's let's have a friendly tone. Let's 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 think this is a friend of ours. Hey there. How or how are you doing?
Now, if you want or if you expect a certain, uh, <clears throat> let's say, tone from ChatGPT's output, let's, let's just do it even more simply. So, write an essay on the pleasure of swimming. Keep a formal tone. If I hit enter, I will have a formal tone, uh, a formal essay. Um, for some reason, there was an error, but hopefully there won't be any more. So swimming as an activity has captivated humans for centuries. It transcends the mere act of moving through water, offering a plethora of physical, mental and emotional benefits. Well, there you have it. This is a this is a formal essay. Uh, I will not wait for it to finish because it will probably be too long. And as you can see, ChatGPT4 is slower than ChatGPT3 um, by a lot, but it's because it provides us with better responses. So I'm okay with that. I will stop generating, so I will go in and write the same this same uh, prompt, but this time I will say, keep a friendly tone. And now let's see. Embracing the delights of swimming, a personal perspective. Swimming is more than just a way to cool off on a hot summer day or a method of uh, exercise. It's an activity that brings immense, immense pleasure or satisfaction to those who embrace it. You can see this is a more friendly tone than this one, right? So this one started as formally, more formally, this one is more friendly. And Pretty much, um, there you have it. There you can, you can change um, the output of uh, the chatbot by writing your prompt in a in a in a you know um, one way or another in a tone or another. So you can select a single tone, uh, stick to that tone, tone, and write your whole prompt uh, in that tone and with that vocabulary. Or you can simply add a detail uh, conditioning, uh, a condition at the end of the prompt where you say keep a friendly tone or keep a formal tone or whatever tone you want to keep within your output that you get from ChatGPT. And pretty much that's it with this lesson. I hope you found it interesting and helpful, first of all. Uh, it's, it, I mean, you can use this in a lot of ways. Uh, it depends on which content or what content you want to generate, uh, but that's pretty much. Uh, see you in the next lesson.